Don't try to take over my cooking. All right, that's all you. Go for it. That is all me. You're trying to make it look like you cooked all that. <laughs> I'm the one that cooked that. You threw meat into the pan. You didn't even season it yet. And then your sauce, his sauce, is in a can. What are you doing? It's in a jar because what, it's an old family recipe. It? We were taught to make um, these pork rolls. And we're actually just substituting it for turkey rolls. Our friend taught us how to make them. And um, we're giving it a shot making it with our own twist, substituting the pork for chicken, because it's a bit healthier. Uh, I don't even remember what to do first. Chicken. You need to stop doing that, I can't. Chicken, sausage, rolls, yum. Is this thought all the way? It's almost, but we gotta get everything else prepared. Yeah, we gotta tell them the ingredients too, so they know how to make it too, because I know you guys are running to make it after this. You guys, I, I know the pork ones are really, really good, and we're not like pork eaters, uh, no. which is why we're substituting it for chicken. But honestly, like, this was like, oh my god, like, I would eat this every day if I could. That's how good it was. Every day. It needs to be at 350 degrees. Okay. All right, so we got a bowl. We're gonna put the meat first. I hate uncooked meat, it grosses me out. Ugh, oh man! We should probably list the ingredients for them so they know what to get beforehand. Half a pound of pork, or we're substituting it for chicken, but we don't know how that's gonna come out yet. But it's uh, a sausage kind, because it tastes like, it's a sausage roll. Uh, caraway seeds. Oh. Eggs. Uh, breadcrumbs, panko. Um. Uh, Onion, one whole onion. Do we have onion? Oh shoot, we have a half an onion. We can use that. Uh, goat cheese. Wait, you're going too fast. I don't know the ingredients. Goat cheese. Wait, I did. Okay. Goat wait, cheese. Wait. Cranberry, dried cranberries. I haven't even done half the thing. These Salt, ones? pepper, and pastry dough. Are these the breadcrumbs? That's that, that's it. Okay. You but you're going out of line. List everything one else. One teaspoon of the seeds. And you gotta you gotta like break them up on one of these contraptions. Um, can you list, um, basically every single ingredient, please, again? All of them? All of them. I feel like I'm making a potion. <gasps> yes! You know, this is how they made potions in the back of the, the day of yore. Oh, yeah, I remember this that. Is, they used to get their, their ingredients for their potions so that they can make all sorts of spells for the town's people. That's what they did. Then they started using it for cooking. These are facts. No, they're not. Isn't that crazy how it's like yeah. this turns into something so good though? Like yeah. this mess. It's kind of like how like a mess like when we were when we were younger and then we turned into something worth something. You know what I mean? Like when we were just like a, a mess. I don't know if I'm insulted or I don't... I, I can't. Ow! Step on my foot. Here, beat an egg. I'm not gonna beat it. I will beat not. It! That's not beating it. <laughs> Look at us cooking. I know, right? We've grown up. It's not good. I hate uncooked meat. Uncooked meat? But at least she has no I can never be a murderer. Okay, so then you get your um, pastry with puff. Puff pastry. Puff pastry. Puff. And you want to lay it out like this. Yep. Alright, so cut it in half. Like so. And then what you do is you grab some of the meat and then you kind of roll it into a log. Guys, okay, do it like this. Fancy, huh? And then you roll it and you have to roll it really tight. You see it? And then you close the ends like a present. And now you get the egg wash and you just paint it. If you guys end up making them, Post a picture of it. On Husband and Husband Family on our Facebook group page. So now what you do is you cut it in eight pieces. So, you like how he said we we're cooking this together? Get them out of the way. <laughs> oh wait, I taught you how to do it. I taught you how to do it. I taught you how to do yeah, it. in the middle. Yeah. You know how they do in all those cheesy 90 movies where they like come up behind them and they're like, wait, let me show you. And they like grab it like this. And they're like, and they have a moment. Yeah. But we're not having a moment because you're not even looking at me. So. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I Why can't you look at me while you're cutting that? I thought we had a good Why can't you look at me while we're cutting that? Because I don't want to cut off my finger! <laughs> like this, you guys? It looks like sushi rolls. They do. <laughs> and then you just put it on your on your, your parchment. It's a really good like appetizer one when you have family and friends over in any other year than this year, you know? So the oven is at 355 degrees and we're gonna put it in for how long? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, so we place in the oven and cook 25 to 30 minutes. So let's just do 25 because I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, so it's in, so we'll see you guys in like 27, 27 minutes, I guess. <laughs> All right, so it's we time. have to see if they're as good as we made them last time. Let's do it. Well, we didn't really make them last time. No, we did not. <laughs> Ooh, they smell really good. Oh my God, look how puffy they look. <gasps> they look really good, huh? They look so good. Ah, yo. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's good. That's like so it's good. good. It's really good, guys. You have to make it now. You have to. Try it out. If you guys do make it, take a picture, leave it on the comments, leave it on the um, post about it on husband husband family page on Facebook, so we all get to see it. Well, mm. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well. Um. We just want to take a minute to talk about something that we never really talk about. If you guys are looking for the perfect holiday gift for a special someone, look no further. We're so bad at self-promotion. I, I know. We're awful. I mean, you have to do it. We have to. We have these books. This is our life. This is our career. We love creating and stuff like that. But we're just really bad at the self-promotion part because I feel like if you want to buy the books, you'll buy them. We want to have fun with you guys. So it's like, we want to like show you guys our lives and just have fun and, and do stuff like that with you guys. And so it feels like a lot of times we're like, who talk about our books? Because it's like, I don't want to feel like we're pushing people to buy our books. Exactly. But in the end, the books and creating are a big part of us. Like I'm an artist, he's a writer. We're both creators. We both love creating stories. So, I mean, we have to let people know about it, right? And if you guys love us, you should love our stories because our stories are us. It does have our souls into it. We do put our souls into it. I believe that our creativity, I think we both believe this, that our creativity does come from a higher self. Higher, like in the soul somewhere, not just on the surface. So yeah, we thought we'd talk about them for a little bit and share with our stories for those of you that don't know about our stories. And a lot of you guys already do and have been supporting us over the last like four years, our creative work. Oh, that's crazy. And actually it is because of a lot of you that most of these books have happened. So thank you. So let's talk about our books. What yeah. do you have? So I have, um, I have a couple of other books too, but these are my baby books. These are like the ones that I love and like the most, I'm, I guess I'm the most proud of. I have The Ghost of Buxton Manor, the first book in a um, in a series that I'm working on right now. And this book is about a 17-year-old ghost who's trapped in his family's home and doesn't know how he uh, how he died. And a new family is about to move in 100 years after his death. And um, let's just say it's a love story. It's an LGBT love story slash um, paranormal slash um, adventure and I'm really proud of it. I'm really excited about it. It's, um, it really does, like Aaron says, has my heart in it and my soul. Then the sequel came out back in February. It's called The Monster of Chateau de Cor. And this is about actually the Frankenstein monster. And it, again, it's an LGBT uh, book. Um, the monster is actually a 17 year old boy who's been stuck in the castle of Frankenstein for years and doesn't remember how he got there and then a family moves in and um, he falls in love and there's an adventure in that as well and so it is a sequel um, but it's kind of an anthology so each book is a standalone book but the stories do intertwine. And by the time the third book comes out, which I'm working on right now, the stories collide. But um, yeah, they're um, my pride and joy. Um, also, there's a, in the first book, there's an element of Peter Pan in it that, because um, it's based off of real life historical characters um, who helped inspire the book Peter Pan. And then the second book is um, based off of, like I said, Frankenstein, Mary Shelley, the author, 
is in the book too. So it's kind of how she was inspired to write the book. And the third one will be something different. So what do you got? The Husband Husband comic started online as a webcomic. I love long stories with like characters you can develop and just like I'm more of like a like that, like more of like a book person. I love creating stories like that. But I started the Husband Husband comics just as a way to get my art creativity out at the moment. So I started posting the comic and from there I just like people had the same sense of humor and a lot of you guys helped make these books come to life. So over the years there have been now four husband and husband comic books and they collect over four years worth of comics. These books have been really fun to do and it's just, it's a lot of just us. You can see all four of us in this book. You can see our sense of humor. You can see a lot of situations that we've been in over the years. It's just a lot of fun. So um, I've always just really liked to make people smile or laugh no matter what. So I really hope you guys can laugh along with us or at us, whichever way you want to do it. So yeah, those are the comics. And um, the other one, Fairy Boy. Fairy Boy has been a really cool story I've been working on. This is my first full length feature book. And this is finally, this is my baby. This is my pride and joy finally that I'm able to do a long story and just really get into the characters. I have so much planned in my head, I actually can't sleep most of the time thinking about it because this is actually gonna be six books and I'm only on, well the second book is starting to post online right now on Instagram, but I'm working on the third book right now. I'm actually done with the first chapter of the third book. And there will probably be a Kickstarter for that. The third book, probably about February, March. March yeah, April. February, March. It takes, actually it takes about a month to work on a whole chapter. Um, and that's me just like busting it out, like working every day on it. Um, but I hope you guys really like these stories too and are enjoying them. And um, if you want to buy any of these books, John shit from Amazon and I'll put a link on the description. And there's always a link in our description no matter what. And um, these books are all on our web store and I'll put the link for that at the end of the video too. To have you an audience to share that with means more to us than any amount of money, fame, any of that. It really is everything to us. It really is. Just to be able to share these stories and for someone to read this, just the fact that people comment on these kind of things and like tell us how much they like these books, when they do, it really just like it melts our hearts. Like it makes everything worth it. And just if people can smile off of something we made, it just makes everything that much better. And for those of you who already read the books, if you guys can leave a comment or a review on the books, that would be awesome as well. Thank you guys so much. And again, you can find all of our books on our website, which is, uh, I'll put a link at the end of this video. And um, it has really all of our books and it even has John's, even though the shit from Amazon it has a link to John's work. And then it also has a link to uh, these books as well, Fairy Boy and the Husband and Husband books. And it's all on the website and it's just like a one stop where you can see everything. Um, yeah, because we actually ship these books directly from our house. Like these are our home business. So um, thank you guys for supporting our business and for always making it grow with us. And we love you. We love you guys. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah, happy holidays to all of you guys, and um, we'll hope to see you guys soon. Bye.